I imagine my hair is terrible. Uh, quick update for the road to D2 R2. D2 R2 2020. Uh, I got sort of like three basic things that have been going on. One, I've started a little bit of my training. I actually got a ride in. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm in the Northeast, just outside Boston, and uh, it's <laughs> dead of the winter here, and the ability to get out can get kind of iffy. Um, but I've gotten a couple rides in this year so far, which has been good. I got in a um, about an hour long mountain bike ride yesterday, and while an hour isn't as much as I'm going to need, uh, it's a nice place to start, and mountain biking is always uh, a nice alternative in terms of being able to pick lines, um, but also like to be really comfortable on the bike, and uh, it's a good full body, upper body workout. Um, so yeah, so I think it's it, that's gonna be a portion of my training. I would have liked to have taken the gravel bike out yesterday, but I couldn't, more on that in just a minute when we talk about gear. Um, so yeah, training is, underway i think i'm gonna it's not my normal tendency but i think i'm gonna have to integrate weights i just i don't think i'm gonna be able to get onto the road um enough early enough to be as useful as i'd want so i think i'm gonna have to bring weights into this and um and like in like indoor training of some sort or another i don't own a stationary trainer what i do own is a set of rollers that's considerably older than me and riding rollers, if you've not done it, is a heck of a thing. I'm reasonably, I think I hit the mic, I'm reasonably comfortable on rollers after a, a long time of doing them, but um, it, you can't, I can't, I can't really do like an hour on rollers. It just, it's mentally exhausting. Um, so anyway, we'll see. I'll probably have to integrate some of that as well. Anyway, so that's the first bit. Second bit is uh, some choices about, um, navigation for this thing so there's sort of the the ride is unmarked entirely on the roads it's a group ride but like it's entirely unmarked so there's no signs there's no painting there's no on the on the road there's no there's nothing so what you get is a cue sheet and it's like having looked at like previous years cue sheets it's like three pages of dense excel spreadsheet like turns and they're cumulative turns usually so it's like 0.3 miles take this turn in an additional 0.4 miles, take this turn and you know, pages of that. Um, so you'd need a map and you need an odometer on your bike to be able to sort of know where you are with these things, right? I don't have an odometer on that bike and I loathe the idea of putting a bike computer on that bike just sort of in general. I, I My bikes tend to be bike computer um, <laughs> silicon free environments, right? Like no computer, no electronics, I don't do electronic shifting, I don't do computers, I don't do nav, I don't do any of that. But I don't think practically speaking that that's gonna be possible for this ride. There's just too many turns and uh, too much going on. So, um, so I think I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to step grudgingly into the current age and accept uh, some form of GPS navigation. And so I've been, I've been sort of thinking about that and you know, like Wahoo and Garmin and other people make uh, GPS cycle computers that you can load maps onto and you can upload files to and blah, 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 blah. And all that's fine and lovely, but that seems um, a bit silly to do that when I've already got like a really decent cell phone that has a much larger screen and has all that capability sort of built right into it. Um, so I think at least initially, I'm gonna see if I can find an appropriate solution that allows me to adapt a cell phone. I think the cell phone is going to be my goal. My only concern there is really uh, software and um, and mount. Like, how do I get the thing strapped to the bike in such a way that doesn't annoy me and is secure? Right. So, anyway, but I'm working on that right now. Current move I think is going to be iPhone. Um, I'll have to figure out software. I know it exists. I just, I don't know what it even is because I've gleefully ignored it for the last. 30 years. Well, yeah. Anyway, uh, and then two bits of gear that are either in process or have been decided. So my current gravel bike um, is unrideable right now because the tires that are on it are incompatible with the full fenders that are on the bike. And I need slash want the fenders on that bike so that I can ride A, this time of year, but also B, just like... <laughs> You know, yes, this ride is in August, but like it, it does rain in August here. 
Uh, and so the idea of being on like muddy, splattery dirt roads for eight hours uh, with just mud every, I don't need, the bike doesn't need that. I don't need that. I will be more comfortable. The bike will be more reliable with fenders on it. So the fenders stay, which means the tires have to change. Fine. Um, I had been put under the impression uh, that, um, so Panracer is bringing out a Gravel King SK in a 26 inch by 2.1 inch width tire. Um, uh, my bike is a is a 26, 26 inch wheeled bike, right? So, um, and that's great news because it's been very, very, very difficult to find like a proper gravel tire for 26 inch wheels. Um, I had sort of hoped that um, Ultra Dynamico would bring out a set, uh, but they haven't yet. And I totally understand it's a dying size and it's tire molds are really expensive. Like I, I totally get all that, but you know, I'd sort of hoped. Anyway, Panaracer beat them to the punch. Um, the Gravel King SKs um, and I didn't think they were going to ship to the U.S. until April. That's what I was told. But um, they seem to have gotten here quite a bit earlier because I ordered a pair uh, last week. And I just got shipping notification that they're going to be here in two days. So I'm pretty psyched. That means I'm going to be able to go tubeless on that bike, that the fenders will fit. Um, it's going to be a fully modern tire on the bike. And I have always believed in getting good rubber for your bikes. It's uh, It's the... Yeah, if, if you don't know, you should know. Tires on a bike make all the difference in the world, and you should spend good money on good tires for your use. So there you have it. Anyway, I'm psyched about that. Um, I had also, I, I had sort of in my head conceptualized running um, a front rack with a walled basket and a basket bag in it to carry stuff for this very long ride that I'm going to do, which I'm starting to think might be kind of overkill. You know, there's, there's some aid stops, so there's food en route, and you can fill up water bottles, and... I'm not going camping and you know, it, 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 I, I don't know that I will need that heavy a solution. Um, and so I've been thinking more about burrito bags. Uh, again, I usually don't love handlebar bags, but again, they might be the right tool for the job here. And since uh, when I'm looking around, um, people riding serious gravel at a lot of levels seem to be gravitating towards some of the same solutions. I don't really like um, top tube stem bag snack pack things. Um, I just, all I see is myself hitting them with my knees and they're driving me nuts. But a burrito bag hanging off the front of the handlebars might be tolerable for me. So I'm thinking about that and you know me, that means I'll probably be making my own. So if I go that route and it looks like I will, I will bring you along for the trip as I craft and devise <laughs> and construct um, a bag to the specs that I want with attachment the way I want and blah, 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 blah. So yeah, there should be more content on that coming, but that's where we're at. It's a couple weeks after my announcement that I'm going to go do this thing. That's a goal of mine for this season. Um, and, uh, I said, I'd take you guys along. This is me updating you on that process. Um, and you can look forward to more stuff. Like I want to take you along on some of the training rides I'm doing. I want to take you along, uh, when I do, uh, <laughs> Well, I was going to say take you along when I do roller rides, but I'm not sure anyone actually wants to see that. Um, but yeah, take you along on training rides, on the prep, on gear selection, on bike setup. Eventually, when I get like a nice enough day, I'll actually show you the bike and take you through the bike so you can see what I'm working with and, and, and why I've done things the way I've done them on it. Um, yeah, it, but it should be fun. I, I, I'm, I remain incredibly optimistic and excited about this entire project, so... I uh, hope you're enjoying it and I hope it inspires you to set some goals for yourself. So anyway, see you next time.